Hi, I'm Manuel, and today we're going to take a look at everything we can do with our new compact cross-line laser, the LAX320G and the new line receiver RL230RG. Make sure you watch until the very end, because there's something to win again today. Enjoy the video. First, I'd like to briefly introduce the LAX320G to you again. You can find a detailed video in the other eCampus videos where the device is described in depth. Now let's start with the device. Here, similar to the LAX500G for example, we have a rotatable housing. This allows me to perfectly protect my laser aperture when it's in transport mode, especially if I just toss the device loosely into a toolbox. To turn it on, we have the control switch here on the side. This also releases the pendulum lock and starts the device in leveling mode. On the other side, we have the HV button, which allows me to activate additional lines or just the vertical line. Furthermore, we also have an on-off switch here, which is for manual mode. If I press this button for two seconds, the device turns on. Every five seconds it blinks twice to signal to me, hey, be careful, I am not in leveling mode, but in manual mode, so I can also display a slope. Then we have the button for receiver mode, but we'll get to that later. So let's introduce the line receiver RL230RG. Included in the package are, of course, the device, the mounting clamp, and two. batteries. Now about the receiver itself, here we have a strip of about 9 centimeters that intercepts the laser line. We also have a nice notch here, which is clearly visible on the sides as well, so that when the receiver intercepts a laser line, we can mark it on the workpiece or on the wall. As well, we have two bubble levels, one for aligning the device vertically and one for aligning it horizontally. There is a display on both the front and back. The moment I turn on the device, every single character on its display lights up on both the front and the back. If I press the power button again, the display's backlight turns on. Both displays are lit up so I can easily read them when I'm working in a dark environment. The second button controls the accuracy or sensitivity. Simply put, when my device is centered at its lowest setting, which is indicated by just one line on the display, we have a receiving line that's one millimeter wide. If we switch to the second level, which is indicated by two lines, the receiving line is expanded to three millimeters. This simply means that even if I'm further away, I can still get the best possible laser reception. The last button is for the volume. You've got three different volume settings here. One is loud, the next is with a reduced tone or quieter, and the third option is off. So in that case, I won't have an audible indicator, only a visual display that shows me my position and when I found the center. On the top of the device, we also have two magnets. This means we can attach it, for example, to drywall tracks on the ceiling or to a steel beam on the side. For work with a leveling rod, the holding clamp is included. It's simply attached with a knurled screw on the back. Then, if I use my leveling stuff, I can just secure it here, tighten it, and it holds perfectly. The device runs for over 40 hours on two batteries. Furthermore, the device itself has a complete IP66 standard rating. This means it's completely protected from dust and also against strong jets of water from all directions. So, now I want to show you how you can use the laser together with the receiver, for example, to set up these double bar mesh fences. These here are the posts where the double bar mesh panels will then be hung. Let's assume that we should stay 8 meters away from the wall up there and then 7 meters away from the wall down here. I've already placed our receiver up there, it's 8 meters away from the wall. 
I've set up my laser seven meters from the wall. Now I'm turning on the laser, selecting the vertical line, since I'll be moving my receiver horizontally, activating receiver mode, and then I'll start aligning the laser. This comprehensive setup ensures I get accurate results for my task. We have now aligned the LAX320G using the RL230RG. That means we've now set up our laser line. We won't be touching the laser anymore. Now our first post will go here, positioned exactly in line with the laser. The double rod fence panels are now going in and they're almost exactly 2 meters 50 in length. That means we now measure 2 meters 50 from our first post here. So. There is 2 meters 50. And now we can use the receiver to check again here once more. Center found. With the help of the center line, I can now make my mark and know, okay, this is where my next post needs to go. With the laser and the receiver, I simply save myself the need for another person to help me hold the string or to hold the chalk line. Furthermore, I don't have any mess on the ground because with the chalk line, I wouldn't just be marking the spots where the posts go, but the entire line. The next thing is, my chalk line is maybe 25 meters long if I'm lucky, or the mason string is 50 meters. With the LAX320G and the RL230RG, I have ranges of up to 100 meters, over which I can detect the line. With the LAX320G, we have a visible line of up to 30 meters. Here we now have a distance from our laser to the wall of just over 40 meters, right? The line is still visible, but already a bit weaker and quite thick. Now, it's pretty hard for me to figure out exactly where the center of my line is here. But since the light from the laser is still strongest in the center, the receiver can still pick it up and detect the exact center. Uh, if I now slide it into the line from above, we can already hear the signal tone. It's a bit dark here. I'll turn on the display lighting. Be careful not to cover the detector strip. Now we found our center. Just to show that it really only detects the center, I'll move it down a bit again. That was maybe half a millimeter and it's already out again. This way my RL230RG can optimally help me to precisely determine the line, even at greater distances indoors. So now I want to show you how to make a tile backsplash. Here we have our nice living room table tile. This is just an example to show how you would normally do it with a spirit level pencil and then later we'll use the laser and I'll show you what advantages it has. First we're going to measure the height. Let's say 1 meter 25. It doesn't have to be exact right now. So, so, we'll pick up the spirit level and immediately rotate it to create one continuous marking line. The ATS is designed for accurate measurements even in its reverse position. Align it perfectly straight, press down firmly and draw your line. That's your guideline for laying the tiles. Now let's mix the tile adhesive. All right, the tile adhesive is now mixed. Now we'll try to apply it in such a way that we don't cover up our pencil line, of course. As you can see, I have to go pretty high up with my notched trowel to spread the adhesive evenly and ensure it reaches the correct height for the tiles. This helps create a strong bond and a level surface. And just like that, it happened. I've now covered up my pencil line. Yeah. 
and now I'm finding it hard to see my pencil line in this area, making it difficult to ensure my tiles will be perfectly straight in the end. I'm going to just turn on the laser right now and I'll also switch on the cross line as well. So check again because it's pretty bright out here, it's very difficult to see but it works. I can see I'm a bit below my pencil mark. I'll use this crank tripod to simply raise my line to the correct height, 1 meter 25, I'll let it self-level briefly. That's good. Okay, and now I can see my laser line here. We're outside here now, so of course it's a bit harder to see. Indoors, this works perfectly, and now I can even start right in the middle of my tile layout with the cross line. And I can very nicely and carefully lay my tile right here along the lines. I can align it. Now I can just take a second one put it beside or below the first and my line will always be clearly visible. That means even if I've drawn my line and tile adhesive gets on top of it, I can still see it with the laser. That's an advantage I have compared to using a spirit level with a pencil line. Now, I'd like to show you another application of the LAX 320G in manual mode, all right? Here on the side, we have a railing. Now, we also want to have a handrail on the other side of the stairs. To make it a bit more secure, you can hold on to both sides. For this, we're now using the LAX320G. We've already marked points below and up here where we want the height of the railing to be. Now we can use the magnetic mount, attach the LAX320G to the railing on the other side and this time, instead of starting the leveling with the pendulum lock and the on-off switch, we use the manual mode here on the side. Hold it down for two seconds. Now we have the laser line. We see the blinking, which means the laser isn't leveled. So we'll set it up now by aligning it with both the top and bottom markings. Now we've got a clear line that won't smudge, allowing us to easily mark our drill holes and attach the new railing. The LAX 320G is always leveled in normal condition. You can also use that with the RL230RG to level an entire area. For example, like here, if we're trying to spread out this pile of gravel across the site. What's the best way to do that now? Our LAX320G has a three-quarter inch thread at the bottom. Our STKS tripod also has a mount with the matching counterpart. We'll just attach that to the laser now. I have already set up the tripod earlier, so it's roughly leveled. That's because the laser can only compensate for a tilt of four degrees. Once I've screwed it on at the bottom, I set up the laser on the tripod so that it points toward the area I want to level. Then I screw it in and turn it on. The horizontal line comes on immediately and now I just switch on the receiver mode. Now I take my receiver, which I have attached to the leveling rod. Of course, I've already set it up so that my bracket, which also marks my zero line, is positioned here between the red and silver sections. I'll show you in a moment why we're doing this. All right, and now I'll go ahead and turn the receiver on. The audio is on now and I'm leveling it so I have the laser's height on the tripod. So now I've taken the height from the laser and now we can go out onto the site and see where we need to fill in or remove gravel. We've now perfectly aligned our laser with the receiver on the leveling rod. This means the height we're showing here is exactly the same height we have at the laser. 
If I now position the rod in the laser beam, my receiver tells me I still need to go a bit higher. To do that, I'll loosen the knurled screw on the bracket here at the bottom and raise my receiver until we found the center. We've found the center now, and from here we can read how many centimeters we need to fill in or if we potentially need to remove some gravel. Since it's now on the minus scale, meaning I've moved my receiver upwards, it indicates that we are simply too high here. Fortunately, it's not much. It's about 7 millimeters now. If we want to put down 5 centimeters of gravel, we'll need to excavate roughly 6 centimeters of existing topsoil. That'll bring the new gravel surface to about the same height as the laser. The LAX320G is a compact crossline and plumb laser that you can easily take anywhere. It has a long battery life and its integrated magnetic mount makes it perfect for attaching to drywall profiles or for any trade working with metal. To remove about six centimeters first. The RL230RG is for anyone who needs to use line lasers over longer distances, has greater range requirements, or does occasional outdoor work. With our line lasers, we can achieve ranges of up to 150 meters here. I hope I was able to show you a few applications today with the LAX320G and the RL230RG. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Today there's also something to win again. Among all comments with the hashtag RRL230, we're giving away a Type 96 2 Spirit level 60 centimeters in length. Just write in the comments what other applications you can think of for our crossline and plumb laser, the LAX320G and the RL230RG. Feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. Take care, bye, and see you soon.